Today is uh, January the 18th, 2019, about 9.30 in the morning. I'm in central Maryland on this chilly winter day. I wanted to do an experiment. How warm is it inside my feeding shim on top of a triple deep colony that is particularly strong? This first image shows my temperature probe outside the upper entrance. It's 35 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to insert the probe into my upper entrance into what I know is a large cluster of bees. Probably one to one and a half pounds are up inside this feeding shim, staying warm and also taking advantage of the no-cook sugar bricks that I add from time to time during the winter. This next view shows that I have plugged the upper entrance with my handkerchief in order to keep the bees from flooding out. I did this prior to inserting the probe. I waited and watched the temperature climb and as you can see the temperature at this point in time is 97 degrees inside the feeding shim. Here is the hive in its entirety. In this view I have slid the telescoping cover back in order to expose my insulated inner cover. I think that insulated inner covers are incredibly important to use even in these temperate zones such as mid-Maryland. In this insulated inner cover I enclose the one inch foam insulation in a wooden shim on the bottom of which I attach a piece of homosote. The homosote absorbs moisture and the pink insulation provides R value. The result is that the bees are inside of a dry and very warm shim, indeed 97 degrees warm. This is a typical pattern on the underside of my inner covers. The homosote and the insulation keep the inside of the colony very warm. As a result, there is no condensation in the center of the homosote. But as that rising column of moisture-laden air circulates and comes closer to the cold outside walls, the moisture in that air starts to condense. But the homosote board is there to absorb that moisture, thus the staining. As expected, when I removed my handkerchief and withdrew the probe, the bees were not too happy. They came storming out, looking for somebody to sting, but I was long gone by then. By the way, here's evidence that the upper entrance does indeed assist in venting moist air. I took this photograph last winter. Notice the ice crystals caused by the venting air.